What's going on guys? So I'm sure all the OG Larry fans are absolutely shocked by the title and thumbnail because we are finally replacing the headliner in Larry. Yes, I'm finally doing it. I've had the materials for probably a year, year and a half, and I just haven't gotten around to doing it. But we're finally doing it this weekend. So if we come inside, for anyone that is new, I think the last owner of Larry was Freddy Krueger himself because... The headliner is absolutely destroyed. In all reality, the AC just hasn't worked in years, so I've always got the windows down, and this stuff is just falling apart, right? It's very common on old trucks. Yours is probably similar to this if you're watching this video. The Sierra has kind of got some droopy spots as well. Not torn up like this, but we're going to be replacing the headliner in it as well. Maybe we'll go more bougie with the Sierra, but on here, we're going to be doing a new material. Not going, like I said, not going bougie, not doing starlights, anything like that. It looks good on some trucks, but just not doing that on Larry. Don't really have any desire for that. But uh, yeah, gonna be going with a new material, different color. Hopefully, it gives it a good contrast that looks good, and it you know we'll have to see. I'm also looking for a parts truck, one of these generations that's maybe had an engine failure that the interior is good. Someone's selling part now, so I want to do a seat swap, you know, bench and everything like that. The back is like literally perfect, so I would like to find a lariat in this color. That way, I could just swap this out. New steering wheel. We're gonna be treating the inside of Larry right, y'all. So. If you've watched the last video, we finally got Larry's brake situation figured out, so we're good to go on that. We're back on the road. Yes, we're still waiting on our lift to come in, but Larry is 100% road worthy now. So we're going to be starting to crack off some of these interior mods to get this thing back to its former glory, like it deserves. And uh, I guess treat myself with the interior bits, so that way I can, you know, enjoy it more while I drive it. So, anyways, I got a bunch of stuff to film as well with the Sierra. I'm going to go get the mud grabs mounted, and then we'll start tearing Larry down. All right, so step one, go ahead and pop your hood. Take your negative terminal off. That way your door lights are not constantly running. You don't want to have a dead battery, but this should be a fairly easy removal. I think the hardest part's going to be this panel right here. When I did the third brake light, this gave me the most trouble. Absolute pain in the butt to get back in there. So we'll remove our seat belt here. Clothes hanger hook, seat belt. Take that panel out. Remove our weather stripping. Uh, should be some screws holding this handle in. This should pop straight out. That side should pop straight out. That door over there, it's actually not a door, it's a three door. That doesn't open. I'll have to figure out how to get that whole situation out. That might be complicated. Um, these are just held on with screws here, screw there, some underneath there. That should pop down. And then once we get all that removed with our door seals and everything, Headliner should come straight out here. And then we can start the super fun process of removing the original fabric. That's that's going to suck. But anyways, let's go ahead and throw the GoPro up and uh, get after it. All right, we're going to start on the passenger side. Take this seat belt off. Okay, set your seat belt down. This guy, you're just going to have to literally pry out. It's not fun. You hear it all popping. And if you think it's bad, taken out. Just wait till you have to put it back in. Come on, there's a little pin in there. Side. All right, now we want to take our clothes hanger thing off. All right, pop that out. I'm just gonna throw all these little things in the cup holder. So essentially, I'm just gonna bend this down enough to get this in here and take it off without messing our plastic up, hopefully. All right, here we go. Press this back up. Yeah, we'll be good to go. So now, go up there. All right, let's take this pillar off. Get you a flathead. Pry these guys out. It's actually four. Don't do that and bust your windshield. Mine's already cracked, but be more careful than I just was. <laughs> Now you got a seven mil. Probably have to take all four off, but I'm gonna start with these. So this is the crap that takes forever when you can't find the right tool because the little short fatty one wouldn't fit into here. And then I couldn't find the right wrench for this. So I've got finally found this little attachment, which thank goodness is going to get the job done but my gosh i just spent like 30 minutes hunting that 
And is this going to fall down in there? Probably. Come on. Okay, that one popped free. Okay, great. They're just going to fall. I should be able to pop this out now. Okay, great. All right. Well, that's one way to do it. The violent and unpredictable way. Oh, man. Look at that original paint. Good load, Larry. Go ahead and take our visor out. Make sure you put all your screws to the side or catch them in your lap like I just did. Mm, catch that one in the floor. Go ahead and take this center one out. There we go. Let's go ahead and swing this guy down, get this outside one. Nice, both directly in my lap. Forearm workout today. Good load, that thing burning. All right, sick. Now this should just pop out just like that. Now we got the super fun time of taking this whole panel off. We'll start with the seat belt. All right, now. Go ahead and take this window, whatever you want to call this, the lock for the window. Pop that free. Throw these in the cup holder. Now, go ahead and take this out as well. There we go. Now, we got to find out what size that is because I'm sure. Oh, okay. Maybe we don't need to take that all the way down. Let's just slide this as low as we can get. We might just slide the headliner out over the top of that. So then take the trim off of the seal. It should free up our headliner aside from that middle light. I believe this is the final piece of the puzzle holding it on. I don't want to break it, but I know this pops out some way or another. There we go. Yeah, so we got four screws holding it up. Oh yeah, okay. This whole headliner is it's moving. Hello, Mr. Stink Bug. That just fell out of my headliner. You look alive, but I hope you aren't. Oh, geez. That sounded terrifying. All right. We got movement. <laughs> we have all the movement. All right, let me sit it right there and we can get out of here. Try to gently rotate it. bend it. There we go. There we go. Alright. We're freaking out. This would be a perfect time for us to cut the roof off and put a panoramic. I wish that was possible. I wish I was like super good fab work like that. That would be insane. But yeah, that came out pretty easy. That's what was holding it up in the front. Basically, the light was holding it up in the center, and we were able to slide it out easily, even with that door still on there. So, yeah, she came out pretty easy. I think I might actually go drive Larry while that's out, because I'm curious to see how much this little half inch of material soundproofs the inside of that cab. But now we're just going to be taking our time and removing all of this crap, scraping all of this out. I've got some wire brushes and stuff, and... We'll get all this out and lay our new material down. So we did in fact go out cruising with no headliner. Larry is just clapping away. It's honestly not any louder though, I don't think. No popos outside, we good. But uh, yeah, I was actually anticipating it being pretty loud, but I mean, it's loud, but I don't think it's any more loud than it typically is. 
All right, now it's time to strip this down to the board. So we've got this outside material that's obviously failed, but then underneath we have the foam, which the new stuff already has foam. So we need to get this down to the board itself. It's just gonna be a very tedious process. You don't wanna mess the board up, but we got the uh, wire brushes. And if this takes way too long, then we're gonna use this with a drill, hopefully speed the process up. But I'm just gonna throw you all up on a time lapse, put me on some kind of video, distract my brain, get after it, and hope this doesn't take too many hours. So obviously this was making a huge mess inside. So we've moved outside and I've got my entire head covered because I don't want to breathe in this. I don't want to get it in my eyes. And that thing is slinging it everywhere. It's working great, but it's slinging it everywhere. So hopefully outside plus all of this, we can get this knocked out real quick. All right, guys, we've got her pretty much stripped all the way down. There's probably a couple spots I need to touch up once I get it inside and can see a little bit better. A little bit right there, but uh, yeah, she's pretty much completely stripped. Got a couple fuzzies right there. This is probably the worst place that I kind of gouged it a little bit with the drill, but it shouldn't show up. I might go back and try to smooth that some, but uh, yeah. We're pretty much ready to start laying the new uh, fabric on here. All right, we got it all stripped down and I went with a black suede type material. Hopefully it looks good with all the other tan, but I thought it would be a nice little contrast. Now it's time to put it on. Hopefully it's, a, hopefully it's good enough, good gracious. It's gonna be freaking close. I thought I got above and beyond, but yeah, I might need to wait and do this tomorrow. Let this lay overnight and kind of flatten out because if I spray it now, it's going to have this big crack in it. Even after three days of laying flat, it never smoothed out. So I ended up having to buy some new material. And then once I got everything installed, I'm sitting here trying to edit this video. I realized that about half or three quarters of my footage of installing it is corrupted. I don't know what happened. I'm guessing it's some kind of issue with my microphone that I decided to try in this video. Absolutely sucks, but it seems every other time that I started recording, it messed up. So unfortunately did not get the entire process, but just to slow and steady, do about a fourth or half at a time spraying and laying down and smoothing, did the whole center section and then did the edges afterwards after everything had dried and it turned out pretty good. So check it out. All right, guys, I know you just saw a few clips, but Larry's headliner is officially done. For the most part, we got a few small custom touches to do to it, but check it out. Finally got this thing in. It was like a month working on this thing because we ran into some issues with not having enough adhesive. And honestly, the 3M stuff was junk. Got some Gorilla Glue adhesive, worked much, much better. I'll have a link to it in the description. Overall, it's not perfect, but I think I would do it pretty much perfect the second go around if I ever did, being my first time. It was definitely a challenge, learned a lot. This obviously suede, so you can smooth it this way, smooth it that way. Obviously, I haven't just got a bunch of finger marks all over the place. And I know the whole two-tone is going to be a questionable thing for some people, but I think it looks really good. I like the black. It feels and looks awesome in here. I'm really enjoying it. Even though I just got it done, I'm, I'm already really enjoying it. And obviously, we ditched 
the sun visors. So there's not really a need. They do mount in and do offer some support, but from this holding it, that guy in the center definitely helps in the center. It probably could not even have that and be all right, but it might start to flex. Um, but that over there holding it, the weather stripping, every, it, it's in there good just by this and that being bolted on, which the little custom part that I was talking about is I want to do a little custom plate right here. Something I got, I got to brainstorm something that will can be screwed into there, but not stand out like this. And then this, I probably will take back down and paint black. I think that would make it look a little bit better, but yeah, dude, Larry's headliner is in here. And this obviously no, no sun shines through this. So that's like a all the time visor. So I don't need visors. And like I said, I think it's a cleaner look without them. So yeah. And they would have been tan. So it looked weird. Once we do something with this, paint this, I think this is going to flow together amazing and look super good. So now we're going to have our Larry driving vlogs and the headliner is not going to be destroyed. Look at that. Dude, that looks freaking good. I am digging it. I think that looks really, really good. I am stoked. Oh my gosh, yes. So much better. So much better. So that's going to be about it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. I know I filmed a majority of it there at the end. I kind of was just so over it that I just decided to say screw it um, and glue it all down. Uh, it's not really anything too crazy. Uh, if you had some real soft clamps to do the edges and hold some spots, it probably would be a little bit easier ha than having to go back around every couple minutes and try to get it to stick. But overall, using the Gorilla Glue adhesive, stuck on really good definitely don't get the 3m crap which is crazy because 3m stuff is usually super good but the gorilla glue but worked so much better was so much stronger <clears throat> but yeah i'm stoked y'all comment down below let me know see y'all in the next one